वेलकम टू डी एन यू योर डेली डोज ऑफ न्यूज इन अट शेल स्टे इनफॉर्म्ड स्टे अहेड ज्वाइन अस एज वी ब्रिंग यू द लेटेस्ट हेडलाइंस टॉप स्टोरीज एंड इंट्रीगिंग इन साइट्स गेट रेडी टू पावर अप योर डे विद डी एन यू लेट्स टाइव इन टू द टुडे स्टॉप न्यूज फर्स्ट न्यूज बी पी सी ओ बर्नर्ड लूनी हैज रिजाइंड ओवर पास्ट अनडिस्कलोज रिलेशनशिप्स विद कोलीग्स द फर्म सेड BP's board reviewed allegations relating to the 53-year-old conduct in respect of personal relationships with colleagues in 2022 and found no breach of company rules. BP received further similar allegations and said Luni now accepts he wasn't fully transparent in previous disclosures. Second news Hyundai Motor and Kia Corp are requesting a US court to dismiss lawsuits from 17 cities regarding their failure to incorporate anti-theft tech in their vehicles. The claims came after numerous Hyundai and Kia vehicles were stolen, a trend popularized on TikTok. The automakers claim the city's weak law enforcement policies are more to blame. Third news, the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, IMEC would be a more ambitious economic framework of connectivity than similar other projects union minister hardeep singh puri told money control jointly announced by the us india saudi arabia uae france germany italy and eu imec will enable the flow of commerce energy and data between asia and europe fourth news tata motors md passenger vehicles and electric vehicle mobility said the company would continue with diesel cars till there are customers he said this after union minister nitin gadkari on tuesday said the government will have no option but to increase tax on diesel vehicles and make their sales difficult if manufacturers don't limit their production fifth news infosys co-founder nandan nilekni said small and medium enterprise SME finance in India is at the cusp of transformation due to various government initiatives. Now, there is data to make a loan decision. There are platforms like ONDC to discover the borrower and repayment can be tied up in the cash flow, Nilekni stated. Sixth news, activist investor Starboard Value said Godaddy was deeply undervalued and that the web services firm should consider a potential sale if it can't improve its financial performance. Starboard, which is its third largest shareholder with a 7.8% stake, said the firm was set to miss almost every target set for the next two years at its 2022 investor day. Seventh news, the Supreme Court warned SpiceJet chairman and managing director Ajay Singh against non-compliance with its order on making payment to Credit Suisse AG. We are not bothered even if you die. It is too much, the bench told Singh. The top court asked Singh to pay 5 lakhs dollars towards an installment to Credit Suisse along with 1 million dollars defaulted amount. Eighth news, Paytm will not require funding in the near future as the mobile payments firm has 8300 crore rupees of cash balance and is confident of becoming sustainable owing to the free cash flow. We have zero debt and we are very healthy from a balance sheet standpoint. Group CFO Madhur Deora told shareholders at the company's annual general meeting. Ninth news, the Supreme Court, while asking SpiceJet founder Ajay Singh to pay 1.5 million dollars in unpaid dues to Credit Suisse, said, "We will send you to Tihar jail if you do not pay. We are not bothered even if you die. It is too much," the top court further said. "We have to move to the next drastic step," it said. Tenth News Intel on Tuesday announced it's selling an around 10% stake in its standalone subsidiary IMS Nanofabrication to Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. The deal values IMS at around 4.3 billion dollars, which reportedly makes the transaction worth over 430 million dollars. Earlier this year, Intel sold a 20% stake in IMS to Bank Capital Special Situations at the same valuation. 11th news RBI is working with lenders to introduce new features to popularize central bank digital currency CBDC Reuters cited sources as saying 
The features include allowing digital rupee transactions when a customer is offline and linking e-rupee to unified payments interface, UPI, sources added. RBI has been urging banks to make e-rupee interoperable with UPI through a QR code, they added. Twelfth News, amid a political row over an alleged reduction in import duties on American apples and walnuts, Center said the most favored nation duties of 50% and 100% are still applicable. Only an additional 20% duty was removed, government said. The additional duty was imposed in retaliation to a protectionist measure of increasing tariffs on steel and aluminium products, it said. 13th News, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, plans to invest up to $100 million in chip designer Arm Holdings' initial public offering. Arm, owned by SoftBank, aims to raise up to $4.87 billion in its U.S. IPO. TSMC also agreed to buy a 10% stake in IMIS Nanofabrication Global from Intel for up to $432.8 million, valuing the company at around $4.3 billion. 14th News, a British union that represents workers at Barclays said the bank was cutting around 450 staff. We continue to review and adapt our operations based on the ways customers are choosing to interact with us, a Barclays spokesperson said. We are committed to supporting colleagues through this change, working closely with Unite, the spokesperson added. 15th News, the center is considering an amendment to the TRAI Act, 1997, which would lay down specific requirements to enable senior corporate executives to become the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India's TRAI chairperson, the Indian Express reported. The amendment could specify that TRAI's chairperson can be from the private sector. Candidates would require professional experience of at least 30 years. 16th News, sustainable aviation fuel with 1% blending of biofuel will benefit 5 lakh farmers in India, Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri told Money Control. Puri added that one of the major implications of the launch of the Global Biofuel Alliance would be sustainable fuel used in aircraft. He added that India was set to achieve 20% ethanol blending with petrol by 2025. 17th News, according to India's Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, the country's industrial output in July 2023 grew by 5.7% reaching a five-month high and exceeding the predicted 5% growth. The data also showed a 4.8% year-on-year increase in industrial output for the first four months of the fiscal year 2023-24. 18th News, Zara's RFID tags, which the firm said would replace hard plastic tags, were found to be easy to identify and remove in initial tests, Bloomberg reported. Staff in several countries have raised concerns that the tags may make theft easier. Zara Parent Inditex reportedly said the in-store implementation of the new soft alarm system is going according to plan. 19th News, India's retail inflation in August slowed to 6.83% against 7.44% in July, data released by the government on Tuesday showed. However, August's retail inflation was outside the 2 to 6% tolerance range of the Reserve Bank of India, RBI. The retail inflation in August was slowed by cooling vegetable prices. 20th News, Infosys former CFO Mohandas Pai in an interview revealed he was called a knocker during his first job as an executive director at a leasing company. Pai added that he felt hurt and left the company after the incident. He stated that he then joined Infosys as a consultant and was later asked by Narayana Murthy to become the CFO. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. We are also available on Spotify and Amazon Music.